Hey guys, it's Acer, and thanks to this comment, I'm going to be reviewing the Autopilot Camera Stabilizer. This is the Pro-Am Camera Stabilizer, but sometimes I like to call it the Poor Man's Glide Cam. Usually with cheaper versions of products, you get the same functionality, minus all the knickknacks and doodads that make operation more efficient. Let's start with the camera mount. The chassis moves back and forth, left and right, like most glide cam type stabilizers, but unlike a glide cam, you need to manually move the chassis and relock it into position to check balance. This takes tons of time, and though you'll get faster and better at it, it'd still be a load more efficient if you could just twist the knob to move the chassis and make small adjustments without having to relock it. Next on the chassis, we have the mounting system, and again, like most non-glide cam, glide cam type stabilizers, this has a cheese grater on top that you can pop this little one fourth screw through to mount your camera, or the preferred method, a quick release plate. Moving on down, we have the gimbal arm. It has this soft, squishy cushion that prevents your hand from getting cramped, but you're probably gonna get tired in your arm because once it's fully loaded, it weighs a ton. As you can see, it's fully articulate and it moves smoothly. Just be careful not to pinch your fingers while operating. It hurts like hell. And as we keep on moving down, we get to the pole lock. Not sure if that's what it's called, but this little doodad allows you to adjust the distance the weight is from the main camera to just balance even further. I'll go more in depth about this in a tutorial video later on. And getting to the last pieces we have are the weights. These weights are all metal and pretty heavy. The Autopilot comes with 8 pieces, 4 for each side, and I found 2 to each side works fine for my 7D with a 24 to 105 and a Video Mic Pro on top. For my G7, I found that it works fine with 2 to each side and with a Video Mic Go on top and most Micro Four Thirds lenses. The weights are sturdy, but because there's only one point of contact connecting to the base of the autopilot, the weights tend to turn to the side when bumped, and it needs to be adjusted because it messes with the overall balance of the rig. And now what you've all been waiting for, some test footage. This footage was shot on my G7 with the kit lens and stabilization on, so it's not some crazy and obtainable camera setup that'll make my footage extra smooth like candy apples. Something that would usually make a difference though, that I didn't do here is add warp stabilization in post. Although your footage may be smooth already, adding an instance of digital stabilization will make some iffy shots much, much better. Overall, this stabilizer does what it's supposed to do and gives you stabilization on a cheaper budget. Though it lacks the fancy knobs and some thingamabobs of the more expensive stabilizers, at the end of the day, you'll learn how to use this and learn how to get the most out of it. That's it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below if you want to see any specific tests or any specific pieces of the stabilizer, I'm more than happy to do it for you. If you like this video, go ahead and press that like button. If you're not subscribed, maybe hit that subscribe button too. And other than that, that's it for this video. Later guys. Oh shit, my phone. Ah. <sighs>